Is it just me? Or when cars drive by on the road, does it sound like ocean waves? That's, it's always sound like ocean waves to me. <laughs> My brother commented the other day. He says, everybody's speeding. You're all in a hurry to get to the apocalypse. I thought that was hilarious. But if that offends anybody, well, I'm so sorry. But, you know, if we lose our sense of humor, we lose our humanity, we lose our ability to think, then, you know, what is quality of life? I mean, not being insensitive, I just, you know, I don't understand everything. I mean, does anybody? I didn't buy this pig. Somebody gave this pig to me. And because they knew I like pigs. But I always liked it because it reminded me of the Pink Floyd al album uh, Animals. Of course, you know the saying is when pigs fly. But, you know. There's a scary scenario. Good thing they can't fly. It's bad enough that they can run up to 35 miles an hour and they got those nice cutters in their mouth and knock you to the ground and if they knock you to the ground get up because if you don't get up that's it that's all she wrote buddy and you gotta fight your way if they knock you to the ground and they're like oh what a lovely subject this is well I live in Texas and there's what a few million feral hogs living here my observation has been if you stand really still, they go mostly by scent and by hearing. Their eyesight's pretty bad. If you stand really still, they lose you. They don't know where you are, but they're still freaked out that they can't figure out where you are exactly, so they book. Now here's the addendum to that. If you come upon a sow with piglets, put the, the most distance between you and those piglets you can because that sow will chase you and she will take you apart. I had a sow chase me once down a ditch and she was really uh, determined to come down the ditch and up the other side and I put a nice oak tree between me and her and she goes, yeah, I thought so, and turned around and went back to her piglets. But anyway, somebody, somebody, another Texan might say, well, why didn't you shoot it? Well, I don't carry a gun with me. And that might be too much information, but I didn't say I wasn't armed. <laughs> That's all I have to say about that. So, where's Charlotte, Wilbur? Oh, I'm sorry, your name is Maxwell. Oh, yeah, I remember you doing those commercials online. Online, on television. When I used to watch television. Whee! Yeah, Maxwell the pig. Maxwell Silver Pork Hammer. So I'm having a swine time today. That's an Acmea Bromeliad. And it's got some pups on it. If we were in Houston, I could put it in the ground and be no issue, but it gets too cold here. And you've got the native Turks cap. In Houston, they don't get much bigger than uh, two to three feet, but up here, for some reason, it must be a hybrid because these up here get a good uh, four to six feet. So it's got to be a hybrid. With, it probably has other abutilon in it, like the Mexican Lazy Hibiscus, that other Abutilon. I had a pink one, I had a white one, and I had a red one. Those are monsters. Those get about four foot tall and about six to five feet wide. Uh, sometimes six feet wide, depending on what the soil conditions are. 
but they really are great for bringing in the hummingbirds and they are perennial if you were to grow it up north you probably have to mulch it with hay or even uh, heal them in like you do with roses if I sit real quiet I might be able to get this pair of uh, cardinals on film but I don't know they're the ones that are nesting in my backyard and both the male and female are here right now I don't know I might be able to, to swing it let's see Sorry for the shakiness. It's got to be the caffeine. There's Blue Jay. Maybe a little, a little bit of pecking order going on here. 